guys! So today I am here with a Snapchat question and answer. I'm so excited to film this video. I was going to film a brush cleaning video, which I'm still going to film. Shit, I forgot my wedding ring. Um, anyway, I'm still going to film it, but I cannot get my studio lights into the bathroom. It just is not happening. So I have to wait until the sun's shining and it's like earlier in the day because it's like 6 o'clock right now. So don't worry if you were waiting for that. It's still coming. But today we are going to do a Snapchat Q&A. I told you, well I didn't tell you guys. I asked you guys to send me questions on Snapchat. So let's answer some questions. Jeez, Nicole. Oh no, there is no texting right now. I don't have time for that. I hope you guys can see. Let me turn the volume up the whole way. Okay, ready? Nicole. Uh, I'm sorry for looking like this. It's it seems so to me whenever do someone does a Snapchat Q&A, I look like this. I look this sexy. I hope I scared you. Uh, we'll see. Okay, yeah, I don't even know if you'll open the snap. She's anyway, so cute. My question is... Oh my god, Snapchat. Here we go. My question is... What would you tell your 16-year-old self? And what were your favorite and least favorite subjects in school? Glad you... Mm, love you too. Okay, so what would I tell my 16 year old self? Okay, so I would tell myself to be more confident because I wasn't very confident back then and I would also tell myself and remind myself that high school is not the end all be all of life. Like when you're in high school, it can be really, really hard. I mean, there's bullies, there's mean girls. It's like, what brand is she wearing? Those things do not matter at all when you get out of high school, once you get into the real world. So if you're in high school right now and you're having a hard time, it's temporary. And when you leave that school, none of that matters anymore. So keep that in mind. And what were my favorite subjects? Um, English was one of my favorite subjects and history. I hated math and I hated... No, I didn't hate science, but I wasn't very good at it. Here we go. So my question is, what is your all-time favorite drugstore brand and high-end brand? Love you. Oh, love you too. She's so pretty. That lipstick. Oh my gosh. You guys are all so pretty. Like, it's not even fair. Um, favorite high-end brand. It used to be NARS. Um, I'm just going to stay with NARS because NARS is like, I don't know, NARS has a special place in my heart for some reason. Um, and my favorite drugstore brand Oh, you guys, this is so difficult. I'm like trying to look around and think of one. Um, can I say ColourPop? Because ColourPop is drugstore priced, but that's probably cheating. So if I think of what's in the drugstore, um, I'm going to go with L'Oreal because L'Oreal does good concealer, good primer, good foundation. Yeah, I'm going to say L'Oreal for now. I don't know, that, that's too difficult. Okay, moving on. Oh my God, I'm like sweating. These questions stress me. Okay. Do you have any recommendations for good bronzers for pale skin? <laughs> Do I have any good recommendations for bronzers for really, really pale skin? Um, I do. Physicians Formula does really good ones and they're not, they're not like super intense and hardcore like this bronze booster. That, it might look kind of dark, but honestly, like when you put it on, it just, it looks nice. And I've used Physicians Formula bronzers on pale skin, like when I've done freelancing. So Physicians Formula is good. MAC, of course, you can always find your shade because they have so many to choose from. Um, yeah, I would say Physicians Formula. That's a good, inexpensive brand, and they have really nice shades. Do it, girl. You can do it. Okay, let's open another one. Okay. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> so, oh, so pretty. You know, how do you deal with somebody that breaks your heart? Mm. Love you. Oh, my God. So freaking gorgeous. Um, a heartbreak is one of the most terrible things to go through. Like, as you're going through it, you think that the world is ending. You'll never feel better. That's how you feel, like, when you're in that moment or weeks, months, whatever. Um, you just have to go about life. Don't lay in bed and cry and think about the person and look at pictures and stalk them on social media. 
I know. Um, get up, get dressed, put makeup on, be around friends, be around people that make you happy. The pain does get better and eventually you will find your person. I always tell people that love is not supposed to be that hard. Like if you're fighting so hard in a relationship and you're constantly crying and you're upset and it's just so much work, love is not that hard. When you find your person, it just, you know, and they know, and it just kind of happens. It's not that difficult. So it will get better, and you're so gorgeous. Oh my God, you're gonna have people knocking down your door. Okay, next, Snapper. You can only choose one lip liner for the rest of your life. What would be? One lip liner for the rest of my life. <sighs> I would probably go with MAC Sore. I've been through, I think, three of these. I just got a new one. It's just a very nice, like, pinky nude shade. MAC does really good lip liners. I love ColourPop lip liners. The Marc Jacobs ones are really good, but they're hella expensive. Oh, even Jordana. I just gave, like, 36 options, but Jordana does, like, $2 lip liners, and they're amazing. Tawny's really good. Yeah, Jordana, Marc Jacobs, ColourPop, and MAC. Just one. I know, I'm sorry. She's so pretty. I'm looking at you guys like from my viewfinder. Don't think I'm like staring at myself. It's just easier than being like this. Um, the pumpkin cupcake candle from Yankee that I showed on Snapchat a couple days ago. I think my mom got it at Target, but if your Target doesn't have it, I would just look online. Like look at yankeecandle.com. I think that's their website. Um, Bath and Body Works also does a pumpkin cupcake candle that smells amazing. So you'll be able to find one. Love what you too. is your favorite foundation at this time? Thank you. Oh my god, so pretty. Oh, I'm sorry, I just keep saying it, but every single one of you is like so gorgeous. My favorite foundation. Right now, it's the Too Faced Born This Way. Even though it makes me greasy after like three hours, like when I first put it on, it looks better than any foundation has ever looked on my face. Um, I love the Makeup Forever Ultra HD for filming. That's a little bit heavier. For drugstore, the L'Oreal Pro Matte. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is absolutely incredible. One of the best foundations I've ever used, and it's drugstore. Like, it is so good. Primer, do you think is best for oily skin? That's not drugstore, because I've tried everything at the drugstore. What primer do I think is best for oily skin? Um, for me, and I do have very, very oily skin right now, I use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Is that what it's called? That's in my look. Yeah, the Dr. Brandt Pores No More is really good. And another one that I've recently started using just in like the past week, but it is doing me so right, the Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. This has salicylic acid in it, so it's going to help your skin if you're prone to breakouts. I'm not really prone to breakouts, but I do find that this keeps me matte. It's really, really nice. So I've been loving this. Hey, Nicole, if you could come up with any brand you wanted, makeup, nail polish, whatever, who would it be and what would you make? Thanks, love you. Oh, love you too. If I could collab with any brand makeup or nail polish, who would it be? Um, oh gosh, that's so hard. I know I'm like looking at my makeup trying to get like answers. Um, let me really think about this. If I could collab with any brand, it would either be Makeup Geek or ColourPop. I love both of those brands. Their prices are affordable, so all of my subscribers, if they wanted to, they would be able to purchase whatever was out there with my name on it. That's so weird to even think about, but I wish that would happen one day, maybe in the far off future. We'll see. Hey Nicole, I'm sorry if I look like a mess. But, She's gorgeous. Um, my question is, what's your favorite movie to watch with your kids or with your family? My favorite movie to watch with my kids or my family. My kids love Jurassic Park movies. Um, we love watching scary movies, but not like super, super scary. It's hard because you have to monitor what's in the movie and they're too big right now to watch like kid movies, but 
so many movies have like so much sex and so much cursing and so much violence that I feel like it's a very small number of movies, but like Jurassic Park um, and scary movies. Like, what was those ones where they, like, go in someone's brain? Like, the people fall asleep? Insidious? Is that what it was? They like those movies. Yeah. Okay. Nicole, my question for you is when did you first start wearing makeup? Love you, bitch. Oh, love you too, bitch! When did I start wearing makeup? Um, I wore it all through high school, but not like I wasn't the way that I am now. I just kind of did it because I felt I had to. Um, so I was probably like 14 or 15 when I started putting it on. I was not very good. Oh my god, you guys, my makeup in high school was so bad. So bad. But yeah, I was like 14 or 15, probably 14, because you know I thought I was cute and like had to put it on. Mm. Where are you planning on moving? Like, state and like city-wise? Um, and I love you so much. Oh, that's my little um, Snapchat buddy. We always talk on Snapchat. Um, where are we planning on moving? We're staying in Pennsylvania. No, I'm not moving to LA like every other YouTuber. I am staying in Pennsylvania. My family is here. My friends are here. And we're just, we're staying here, like in the area that we're in now, which is around Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, in that vicinity. Yeah, that's all you get. Hi, Nicole. Um, my question to you is, what made you get started on YouTube? What made me get started on YouTube? I started my channel because I was bored. Not bored, but I was at home. My husband was sick, or he was getting better. My husband, I've talked about it in a YWP Chats video. He had a stroke at 32 years old, and I stopped working because I had to be home with him. And once he started getting better and was a little bit more independent, you know, I was still home and I was like, I have to do something. I need to talk to people in the outside world. And I had this passion for nail polish and makeup. So I started an Instagram first and a lot of people asked me to start a YouTube channel. So I was like, oh, I'll start one. And I did. And I never thought I would stick with it. Like I thought I would make five videos and get tired of it. And I just kept doing it and people started coming and I started making friends and I was like, this is amazing. So I stuck with it and here I am. We want to know what your favorite fall nail polishes are. Oh my God, so cute. Um, my favorite fall nail polishes, I'm not really going to talk about. I'll tell you what's on my nails. This is Essie Wicked. This is one of my all-time favorite fall polishes. I have a fall favorite polish video coming, so... That's all you get. Hello from England. Love oh, you and Julia's. Sex. Just wondering what tricks I are for uh, fine lines under the eyes with makeup. Thank you. Love. Oh, I love you too. So tricks for concealer, basically. Um, a lot of people have fine lines under their eyes, me being one of them. And the one thing that I find, you have to play around with concealers. Find one that works with your skin. Just because one works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Um, the best, most universal one that I have found is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's a little bit more expensive, but it is worth every penny. Just put it on. I like to use a brush to blend it in. And then as soon as you get it blended out, take a powder, any powder of your choosing. I find that the best powder I've ever used for my under eyes is the NARS Crystal Pressed Powder because it's very, very, you can tell I love it, it's very, very thin. So it's not gonna cake under there, it's not gonna make your lines look more pronounced. So find a good concealer, find a good powder, and as soon as you get the concealer blended, go in with powder. If you don't put powder on, it's going to crease, it's going to sit in your lines, and it's going to slide all over the place. So you have to set it with a powder. Even if you're dry, just take a little tiny bit of powder and do it. If you guys want more on that topic, I can do a video if you want. I know, that was like, whoa, you could do a video. How pretty she is. When will I come visit Greece? Girl, my family is all in Greece. I would come tomorrow if I could. Um, I, I'm hoping to go back in like a year maybe. 
I don't know if that'll happen, but yeah, my family's all in Greece, in Athens, and I really need to get over there to visit. And Greece is the most gorgeous place on the planet, for sure. Nicole, I love you so much in your love videos, you so but you seem like such a good mom. Your kids seem so sweet. Thank what you. is your favorite and least favorite part about being a mom? Oh, my favorite and least favorite part about being a mom. My favorite part is just my children. Like, my kids are the most awesome, fun, smart. My kids are just the best. Like, they're so much fun. I would rather hang with my kids than anyone. Um, the worst part is... It's like the the pressure you're you're molding these little beings into adults and it, that's so scary like what if I F this up what if I do this wrong and they turn out to be a serial killer it's it's a lot of pressure but I think if you're just I think there's like a fine line I I am their friend but I'm their mom first like I will I will cut you if need be like do not sass me but I also want them to feel like they can come to me and tell me things and I think I've done a pretty good job of that Hunter sometimes comes to me with too much and I'm like la 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 I don't want to hear that like don't tell me that so yeah it's parenthood is oh that's a that's a whole nother video okay so I have one question for you um what is up what she said what is up oh my god you guys are crazy One what is your favorite highlighter ever? Okay, two questions. What is my favorite highlighter ever? And if I could only have one makeup product, I'm assuming for the rest of my life, what would it be? My favorite highlighter ever. Oh, you guys are freaking killing me. But I honestly think this is the best one ever. Even though, okay, I'm just going to show you. The Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Honestly, like... This is the highlighter that I have stuck with longer than any other one. And this color, like, you, there's nothing. Right? It, it, I don't even have words. It's so good. You need it. Go buy it. I, no, I'm not affiliated with Laura Geller, but that highlighter is life-changing. Um, what was the other question? Oh, one makeup product for the rest of my life. What would it be? <sighs> This is too hard. I can't think of just one. I always say if I could only choose one thing, it would be my Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment. Because honestly, you guys, I have these all over the house. It's just a lip balm. There's no color to it. But there's something about this that I cannot stop using. I'm addicted to this. Like Tony tells me all the time, you're addicted to this. You cannot stop using it. And it's true. I I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Let me know if you know that song. And if you do, your mind is in the gutter, just like mine. I was just wondering what your favorite lipstick from the drugstore would be, like based on formula and color selection. Love you. Love you too. My favorite lipstick from the drugstore. Um, right away, like the first thing that I think of are the Milani lipsticks and the gold packaging that smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. They are amazing. The color selection's really good. They smell good. They're pigmented, like gorgeous, gorgeous lipsticks. This bitch. Selfie thirst right there. Yeah, I see you, Amanda. Hey Nicole, so my question for you is what kind of jelly do you put in your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? <laughs> By the way, I really, really enjoy your channel. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, what kind of jelly do I put on my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? I use Welch's grape jelly. That is it. Nothing else. Don't come at me with no off-brand. Gotta be Welch's and it has to be grape or I will cut you. What's your number one tip for finding foundations that match you perfectly? Okay. I, I do have tips for this subject. First off, don't ever trust the people that work at Sephora. I'm sorry if you work at Sephora, but I have tried over and over again to let them match me and they never do it right. I love Sephora, I love the girls that work there, but they're not that good at matching the foundation. I don't know if it's the lighting in there, I don't know what it is, but every time I allow them to match me, I'm going back the next day to do it myself. So. I would say take a foundation with you that you know already matches you, like your best matching foundation. Take it with you. And if there's swatches, 
swatch it on your hand and then swatch the other ones beside it so you can kind of see what's closest or you can go on Google, just do a Google search of whatever foundation you're looking for. People will do swatches, like they're already up there and it is so helpful because you can actually see them swatch like on someone's arm or someone's hand so much better than seeing them on like the, the little, you know, the little picture that the brands put out because the shades never look real. It almost looks like a cartoon. So Google or take your favorite foundation to the store with you and match it that way. Hi, what would be your dream job if you weren't on YouTube? Love you. My dream job, love you too, sorry. My dream job if I wasn't on YouTube, um, I would wanna be doing something in this industry. I would wanna be a makeup artist or I would wanna be, I wouldn't wanna be doing nails because I love to do mine but I don't like to do other people's. I mean like my mom and my friends but. So it would be something in this industry. Makeup artist, like celebrity makeup artist. Uh, hello, call me in my flannel shirt with my melasma. I'm ready. Nicole, what is the best light to buy to put on my vanity slash disc while I do my makeup? I literally do my makeup in the dark Aww. every time. Um, oh god, the best light to buy, you can go on Amazon and get two umbrella lights for 30 bucks. That's what I did. Like what I use right now, they're just basic umbrella lights. I got the set for 30 bucks and they are amazing. They're the best, like that's what I use to light my videos. I don't have a diva ring light. I mean I do, but I kind of broke it. So that's all I use. I mean I think 30 bucks is pretty good for decent lighting. You could go to Target and buy a lamp for 20 so why not get the real deal? So Amazon umbrella lights, no Pacific, no specific buyer. Just go in and search umbrella lights and they'll pop up. Hi, Topaz. Hey, girl. Just wanted to know if you were a thirsty bitch. Oh, I am. I'm a thirsty bitch, girl. You know I am. The selfie thirst is so real. Hi, Nicole. Hey, so what's the story with Topaz? Is she your alter ego? And where does the name come from? I get asked this all the time. Where does the name Topaz come from? So it started out someone said Camel Toe Paz, like Camel Toe Paz. And for some reason it just kind of stuck and I started using it. And to whoever said that to me, thank you so much. Like I give you full credit. Um, that, yeah, it's like my alter ego. You know how Beyonce has Sasha Fierce? Well, Nicole has Topaz. I know. Do not ever compare yourself to Beyonce, you thirsty bitch. My question is, what's your favorite drugstore brand and your favorite high-end brand? Okay, so I already answered that question earlier in the video, but... Oh, I love you too. She wrote it on the screen. So cute. <gasps> Topaz! Hey, girl! What's your favorite thing about being a mom? I, oh, sorry, I'm weird. So am I. It's okay. Um, I kind of already answered that. My favorite thing about being a mom is just the fact that my kids are awesome. Like, I feel like I was blessed with three of the greatest kids in the world. They're cool. They're fun. They're smart. They're good. They're just, I just have the best kids. I know everybody thinks they have the best kids, but I really do. Nicole, I had really bad under eye circles and I was just wondering what you can recommend for them as far as concealers. Thank you. Okay, so I kind of already touched on this with the under eye thing, but if you have really bad under eye circles, I'm going to show you the best product. This NYX Dark Circle Concealer, it's like five bucks. It is better than the Bobbi Brown one. It's better than any corrector that I've ever used. Put this on before you put on your concealer. Just take a little bit and kind of blend it out wherever the dark circles are the worst. And then go over top with your concealer and your powder. It seems like we might need to do a concealing under eye kind of video. Because if I feel like a lot of you have questions, we can do that. I'll do that. But that NYX dark circle corrector, you need it. If you could choose something to not exist, what would it be? 
Girl, you already know the answer, flies. I was just talking about this yesterday to my mom. I was like, if I could choose one thing in the world, if I had one wish, I would not wish for a million dollars. I would wish for flies to not exist. I hate them so bad. I know they serve some sort of purpose in this world, but I despise them. I hate them. I want them gone. No more flies. No mas, no bueno. Peace out, flies, you dirty bitches. If you could only use one makeup brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh. I love, I love you too. If I could only use one makeup brand for the rest of my life, you guys, are you trying to kill me? Uh, <clears throat> one makeup brand for the rest of my life. I can't choose. Um, NARS. I'm just gonna go with NARS. I'm sorry. I know it's so freaking basic, but I'm a basic bitch. Cool. I was wondering, what's your favorite animal? Love you. Girl, I love you too, but you know what my favorite animal is. Oh, selfie thirst. Oh my god, that's so funny. My favorite animal, well, it kind of came to be a camel, but not by choice. Like, I never thought that my channel would be associated with camels, but it just kind of happened. My favorite animal before the whole camel thing was praying mantises. I have an obsession. I know it's weird, and I'm like that woman. <gasps> There's a fly in my room. We were just talking about flies and there is one in my room. No, you did not just buzz by my head. <gasps> Why are your Snapchat stories so interesting? Like I finished all my 10 gig data watching your story. Like, oh, I get it. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know when I snap after I go back and like watch my story. I'm like this shit is so boring. My face looks terrible. The melasma is bad. Nobody's gonna like it. And then you guys are like, oh my god, your snap is so amazing. And I'm like, you guys just, you guys just get me. I love you guys. I have really oily eyelids. What primer do you recommend for no creasing? Girl. So do I. My eyelids are greasier than anyone's. I swear they are the worst. I'm going to tell you the only two primers that you can use. It may be three because I'm testing a new one out, but I'm not going to tell you about it yet. There are only two that you can use. Actually, three. Maybe four. Um, okay, I'm very passionate about this subject. Let me just show you. My two favorite all-time eye primers, these are basically the exact same thing, so whichever one is cheaper, I would go with that one. Smashbox 24-hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer or the MAC 24-hour Extend Eye Base. These are the two best ones. Also, the NARS Pro Prime is really good, but that is hella expensive. These two right here, I have tried every single drugstore one, every high-end one. I'm telling you, if they are super, super oily, you need these. I know, I just went ham and I'm having trouble breathing. But girl, I have done my research. I have been the guinea pig. You need one of those two. I'm going to put my hands down now. You. I love you. You make my day brighter. I want to know what's your favorite mascara right now and what do you recommend? Oh, so sweet. My favorite mascara right now is, and it's been this one for probably like six months, and it's an expensive one. I'm sorry. The Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lash. I love this mascara. Also, the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye. I know these are high-end, and you're like, bitch, can I get some drugstore options? The Maybelline, the one in the pink tube. Lash Sensational. That one's really, really good also. What's your favorite beauty product? I love you. I love you, too. Bye. 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 High oh, high end beauty. Do oh, too. do both? Okay, too. <laughs> You're not greasy at all. She said, look how greasy I am. You're so cute. Oh, I thought there was another picture. Um, favorite high end beauty product and drugstore beauty product. Oh my god, you guys are seriously killing my life. Why well, I already told you my favorite high end one, the MAC. Does this look like MAC? The NARS Crystal Pressed Powder it's life. Like, I really could not do my makeup without this. I always try to use different powders, but I always go back to this one. 
and my favorite drugstore beauty product. Oh my god, you guys are killing me. Oh, I know what it is. I do know. I do know. Let me find it. Here it is. My L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. You guys see me use this in every Get Ready With Me video. This is the best black eyeliner I have ever found, high-end or drugstore. Like, this is it. I have it on now. I have it on every day. Like, I never wear anything else. It's just so good. So good. All right, guys. Oh, my God. You guys, outros kill my life. They, I'm sweating. I'm freaking sweating. Okay, so I am going to stop there for today. If you guys like these Snapchat Q&As, let me know and I will do more of them. I love you guys. Thank you so much for participating and snapping me and loving me. It just, it really truly makes my life so much better. Like you guys Oh, I'm not going to do it again. I always do it and I always get into this like sappy mode where I just want to tell you guys how much I love you, but I really do like you guys are so good for my life. You guys are so good for my life. I'm just going to put it that way. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Up a wing to a fly, dive bombs me, and just like whizz by my head like I didn't even matter. I do matter. Yes, I do. It's a little day. It's a little day. Oh, it's a little day. Oh my god, you guys, seriously, like, how am I supposed to answer that question? I mean, this shit is not working. Uh -huh. Oh my god, yes, yes, I know the answer to this question. Shut up, put your hands down. You put them down. And it's just so good. Oh, I love it. Oh my Listen, I'm gonna stick that up somebody's ass. First we go in a frog, then we go in a roll, then we let it pop, go, let it go. X gonna give it to you, gonna give it to you, X gonna give it to you, you gonna shoot your mama. Oh my god, that was, that was too much, that was too much. I will shoot your mama though. With a rubber band. Oh my boob edges. <laughs> Excuse me. Why do I feel the need to snap and then watch my snap back like 16 times before I post it? I'm like, do I look okay? Am I alright? And 9 times out of 10, the answer is redo it. Okay, so we're filming and we're snapping and we're doing it at the same time. Why did I think this would be exciting?